Hi guys, welcome to NFI online video tutorials. And in this lesson, we are going to learn about how to do box sorting based on weight. This was uh, because of one of the requests from our student. He wants to learn how to how to sort the boxes based on weight, how to measure the weight of the boxes or any other raw material. So this is a factory environment in which we have this scene already made. You can, you can take it from file, new, and from the scenes, you will find a sorting based on weight already made there in the environment. But I have made some little changes such so that I have changed the sensor. This was a retro reflective sensor before like that one. I've changed with this one for some reason. And I have removed few sensors from here because I don't think we need it because we are going to use the database, the arrays, and we will be storing the database using arrays. So I don't think those sensors are required. So if you are going to duplicate this environment, you can remove the sensor from here and change the sensor if you want. Otherwise, you can also do it in other multiple ways. All right. So in this environment, let's see what we have. We have here. This is a emitter. This will go. This is going to emit the boxes. This is the main conveyor. Then you have this whole sensor here. This is a diffuse sensor, and then you have a weighing scale. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just run this program and then I'll explain you how these things are working. So I'll go with play and start. So when I start this program, you will see parallelly this weight, right? And this weight is a weighing scale as uh, a variable which will show you the weight of the box. So this is right now coming in voltage, all right? Like this is 4.0 for this box. And this is a bigger box for which we are getting 7.5. So we will consider these as a voltage. So based on the voltage we are getting from our sensor, which is a weighing scale, which are change, we are changing the roller position. So you will notice so far that the bigger box this is the biggest box we have. It's going straight in this direction. When you have a different box for that roller changes, and this, this is a medium box that that goes to the right. This is again a medium box, so automatically roller will change. So roller are, rollers are getting the signal from this weighing scale. Okay, this is your medium. This is a smaller box, so this is going to this side. So we have three types of boxes. This is a small, medium, and large. Okay, so and here these are the three exit conveyors. Nothing so special in that. And you have some removers, but there's a sensor which is going to count the boxes later on. Okay, so it's a very simple environment. Only you have are the four main conveyors, one weighing scale, and this is a pusher, which will push the boxes to, you can call it as a roller pusher, or to be specific, let me see what do we have here. Wait a second. Okay, they have three tags here, send forward, send right, and send left, all right? So, and here we have a panel where we have some buttons. So we'll be using these buttons, and we'll be displaying the weight, you can see that. This is the weight of current box. So this is like four kg going to the left. And this is a count five, 10 and five, which are counted by these sensors on the exit. All right. So our task is very simple. We have to sort the box based on their weight. Now the question is where should we send the larger box or the medium box or the small box? This is up to you. But in our exercise, we'll follow the three recipes. In the recipe one, what we'll do, we'll move the larger box in the forward conveyor. Let's call it forward conveyor. And we'll move the medium box to the right conveyor and small box to the left conveyor. This is similar to what is happening here. Okay. This program is followed by recipe one. Then we will make recipe two in which our large box will go to right, medium box will go to left, and small box will go to the forward conveyor. You can see that. Then we have a third recipe with a different configuration. To change the recipe, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to make a data register by which you can change the recipe. If I make from 0 to 1, make a decimal, and we will notice now the recipe is changed. This is the smaller box, and the smaller box is going to the forward, okay? And naturally, the other larger and the medium box is this is a medium going to the left, and this is a large going to the right because I choose the second recipe. I selected one there by zero the recipe one is selected by one recipe two is selected and by two recipe three is selected this is what we do in the PLC all right so this is the main objective of what we have to do if you want to follow me along this lessons uh, you can pause the video or you can quickly make this environment and set up your Siemens TIA so that you can parallelly make the logic uh, 
along with my explanations. We are going to use later logic and we are also going to use some SCL commands because of the array and this recipe function. All right. So uh, I will start. I will start programming from the next video. Okay. Thank you.